Hello YouTube, uh, today we are going to cover the VLOOKUP function in Excel and uh, we're going to break it down for you in a multiple ways so that you become a master at it. So as you'll see here we have a table with uh, the name of students and uh, this is the preferred state once they graduate. In the same sheet we also have this table right here that gives you the states, uh, the population as well as the growth and uh, also in the same workbook we have education by state, medium income by state, home price, rent price, unemployment rate as well as the commute time. So uh, in this exercise we are going to use the VLOOKUP uh, to return value from the same worksheet so we're going to be looking at the population growth as well as looking at returning value from different worksheets just so that you become comfortable with the VLOOKUP concept. So we're going to start with the population growth. So this data uh, for the population growth is located in this worksheet. So we have the state and we have the population and population growth. So the VLOOKUP will be very simple here. So we type equal VLOOKUP and as a uh, uh, all Excel table or all Excel function it gives you a little uh, tip as to what they are looking for. So it asks you for the lookup value. So this is the value that you are looking at the different table for you to return uh, what you are interested in. So our lookup value is we want to look at California and uh, our table is this table right here. So we're going to select the table. So we select the entire table. One thing to be very careful is you want to be able to lock the table so that uh, the value uh, do not go beyond your table ranges. So we lock the table. Then we continue with our comma. And uh, it asks us for the column index number. So since we are interested in the population growth, so our column number will be column 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the value that we want to return for California. And then it asks us for if we want an approximate match or an exact match. So we're going to select false because we want an, uh, a, an exact match. We close the parenthesis and we click enter. So it gave us 0 0.65 for the population growth in California. Just to double check our uh, return value against what we have on the table. So if you look at California, the uh, 2017 growth is 0 0.65. So since we already locked our table, we can just drag it down to populate for the remaining states. Again, uh, once you start as a beginner, it's always uh, recommended to check the value to make sure that uh, it's uh, returning the value that uh, that's in the table. So we're going to check Alabama. So Alabama is here and the population growth in 2017 it's 0.19%. So this is good. So learning how to do the VLOOKUP within uh, the same worksheet. Now let's look at the medium household income. So this one is located at a different uh, worksheet. So this is the medium uh, income by state table. But the concept is the same. So again we click on VLOOKUP what value are we looking for? So we're looking for this value from the uh, the medium income by state. So this is the table. So we're going to select the table. So we select the table. And again, like we did before, we have to lock that table so that when we drag our, our formula across, the value do not go beyond uh, the ranges. Then he asks us for the column index. So we are looking for the medium household income. So it's going to be 1, it's going to be the second column from where our initial value is. So it's going to be 1 and 2. So we're going to type 2 and we want a, an exact match so it's going to be false. Close the parentheses then we click enter. So it gives us 64500 for California. Again, just to double check, you go to the medium income by state and look for California. So California is here. 
and it gives us the 64,500. So if we go back, now we can drag our formula since our table uh, was locked. Our table array was locked. Right? So fairly simple. Uh, now let's look at on prices. It's going to be a very similar concept, and the idea is just for you to become comfortable with the VLOOKUP function. So we click again, equal. So before I do that, I have to know exactly what I'm looking, what value am I wanting to return. Is it coming from this worksheet, or is it coming from a different worksheet, or a different workbook? For the on price, we have this table right here. It has an on price by state. So if I go back here, I click on equal, VLOOKUP. I open my parenthesis, so I'm looking for this value in this table on price so I click on the tab on price then I select the table and very similar you want to lock the table by placing the dollar sign okay then the next uh, element to put in is uh, the return value that you want to get is the second column from uh, where your state is so it's gonna be 2 and we want an exact match so we're gonna call it false and then close the parentheses enter it give us four hundred forty eight thousand dollar for the on price for California just as we did before let's check California it's here the on price is four hundred forty eight thousand again since we already lock our number or our table, we can just drag it out, and voila, uh, 